know, obviously for a lot of Canadians, hockey is in our blood, part of who we are, and for generations, every Saturday night, we gather around the altar that is Hockey Night in Canada. But one thing that we also obviously know is that not all Canadians speak English or French, you know, including you. So last year, during the Stanley Cup Finals, Hockey Night in Canada decided to add a little bit to the mix. They broadcast games in Punjabi. Detroit Red Wings, Chitgene, Stanley Cup Championship, 2002. Why Punjabi? Well, because Punjabi is the fourth most spoken language in Canada, and East Indians have lived in this country for more than a century. Hell, they helped settle and build Vancouver, and they love their sports. Of course, cricket is huge in India, but so is field hockey, and this game, Kabaddi. <laughs> So it makes sense then, right, that Canadians of East Indian heritage would be into hockey. And this season, Hockey Night in Canada is producing Punjabi broadcasts every Saturday night. The commentators were hand-picked from the Punjab community. Both have experience in the media, and both are big fans of the he shoots, he scores. Parminder Singh does the play-by-play, -play, and Harner Ryan Singh the color commentary. <laughs> Everybody, please say hello to Parminder Singh and Hunter Ryan Singh. Welcome, dude. Thanks for coming on. It's cool. I'm flipping through the channels one night, and I knew in, in Hockey Night Canada in the playoffs they were doing it in Mandarin. Right. I'm flipping through the channels, and growing up in the neighborhood I grew up in, I, I've heard a lot of Punjabi, so I, I flipped on and went, what is this? <laughs> what is this? And it was, it was incredible. How did it come to be that Hockey Night in Canada does this and you guys do this? Well, we got the call. Uh, they were doing games in other languages last year during the playoffs. Final round. You know, we've got Sid the Kid, Detroit Red Wings. Mm -hmm. And uh, all we know is CBC wants to do it in Punjabi. And so I'm working over at Omni. Get a call there. Harn Ryan's out with CBC Radio in Calgary. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so we uh, came out, auditioned. They loved it. And uh, we were on. And apparently Kelly Rudy, he yeah. was the one who went to CBC Hockey Night in Canada and said that, hey, if you're trying other languages, you got to try Punjabi because they're all playing ball hockey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, well, man, in my neighborhood, it was all, like, I mean, it's, uh, hockey is a huge part, uh, you know, uh, of the culture. How, right. how does that happen? Well, field hockey is huge in India. Mm -hmm. And first of all, Sikhs have been in this country for over 100 years. Yeah. 1897, first settlers came down. So, you know, hockey's in our blood, I can say now, that uh, being Canadians... And this is the only sport that we all relate to. Right. More than, you know, kabaddi is another one with the new immigrants coming in. Or cricket, they a appreciate. a slapping kabaddi. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of, like, that. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so we call this, this is kabaddi on ice. You know, so we... <laughs> yeah, maybe, you know, with these punching, days. Rather than, yeah. That's right. Um, this is something you want to do forever, right? Yeah, totally. And you guys are talking about having uh, Sikhs come to Canada so long ago. My great-grandfather was one of the first hundred Sikhs who came to Canada. So I know this is something he would be so proud of. Sure. And growing up here as Canadians, hockey's an institution here. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. this is it. This is the dream come true. And to be able to live the dream of working for Hockey Night in Canada and then doing it in our own mother language, yeah. I mean... It's, there's nothing that says Canada's more multicultural than this. Well, but I heard the tryout was just supposed to be call a couple of plays, and then you guys just wouldn't stop. Well, yeah, <laughs> they, they had me come in, and uh, so because I, I did the first first run, and so they're like, okay, a couple of seconds of the game, and this was like the Dallas series. Yeah, so I, I went for two periods. <laughs> and they're like, hey, uh, do you want to stop now? We're not paying you for this. I, I said, no, no, let me add it. Just let me add it. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, what, what I find so fascinating, I mean, Hockey Night in Canada is what it is for a reason, but it's not just about the game. It's the fact that for a lot of people, the, the, the stories, you watch it with your family, right? right? So families come together. But I know certainly, you know, if, if your family, like mine is first generation Canadians, um, some of the people in your family don't speak the language. And so it's harder as time goes on to have a shared family experience when, a TV show doesn't speak the language. This is going to change. Oh, you just imagine this. So we've got this Facebook group running. A uh, guy out in Calgary, uh, sorry, went to Vancouver. Supreet set it up. Over two thousand people are on Facebook. Just in a matter of weeks. That's so amazing. on the walls, we're getting all these posts, and uh, so one of the posts are like, you know what? You guys are connecting our families. Saturday night was a time where you know the, the young generation would go out, want to do their own thing. Parents are at home watching TV. Now even the grandmothers are, are getting involved. And so one of the posts was, hey, you guys better, you know, calm down on that excitement there because we're afraid our grandmother's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's loving hockey. And, yeah, you yeah. know, and it's, we're connecting generations here. And but, but you guys, you do, like, jokes that are 
not, that you wouldn't normally get on, totally. on English. Was it Kenny Malkin had X amount of points and you made an yeah. immigration joke? Well, well, we were saying that, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I was saying that Malkin scored so many points in Russia before he came to North America to play in, in, in for the immigrants. You know, one, one way to get to Canada is through right. the point system. Right. So it was like, did, did Malkin yeah. come on the point system? <laughs> yeah, a call is very important. I know, uh, I, I know the answer to this, but I need to ask you, how do you say ice in Punjabi? Okay, well... <laughs> You know what, we're, we're going to do this one, and it's kind of like Russell Peters and, you know, somebody going to get it. But, uh, <laughs> but with ice, it's, it's barf. Barf. And so Hernan and I were kind of having this conversation that there's so many of these terms that don't translate over. I and mean, we know, you know, British, the U.K., and, and the Queen has been in England for, uh, for, in India for such a long time. So they were, uh, they were familiar with English. So barf is ice. And there's no plural in Punjabi for that, so right. what's so, the plural then? Right. Do we call it barfing or the leaves <laughs> barf the puck? You know, it's <laughs> quite often, yes. Yes. <laughs> quite often they barf the puck. He's a Montreal <laughs> fan, right? <laughs> just, uh, he shoots, he scores is an integral part of the game. Oh, yes. Um, how, how do you do it? How well, do you come up with that? Foster Hewitt, so coined the term. And so we came up with Maria Schacht, they keep the goal. Maria Shatakita Gold. Yeah, well, wow, you're good. Very good. Yeah, Maria, I want to do it in Punjabi. <laughs> Is Punjabi your second language? No. <laughs> well, Russell Peters did make me an honorary Indian, so, oh, there we go. Right? so I think that counts for something, doesn't that totally it? Does. That totally does. What, what, are, what are some of the other phrasing that you have, uh, that you have to sort of change up? Well, first of all, uh, it's kind of like the similar shots that we had, wrist shot, slap shot, <laughs> and the fans totally love this. Uh, wrist shot, wrist is gort in Punjabi, so that became good wrist shot, gort shot, <laughs> good shot. And, and slap, and I think we're all familiar, if you're immigrants, you guys all get hit at home, so don't lie. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, slap is, is in Punjabi is... Chapeard, so it's a chapeard shot. <laughs> it's like a literal yeah. slap. Like an actual slap. Yeah, so some guy changed this profile picture on Facebook, and it's like, oh, I just got a chapeard <laughs> shot. So, yeah, 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 they're totally love. Everyone's loving this. And I think in being Canadian and bringing this game out, and I know you're with the Continental Hockey League and all this rivalry against the NHL, okay, they can't afford it, but I think the one thing that we can do as Canada is, is provide this multicultural setting to a game that we totally love. And... We wouldn't believe it. One sixth of the world sitting out in India right now. Once they catch on, this is it. You know, they're going to watch the broadcast online. I mean, the, the, yeah. the, the yeah. games, well, all the games, including yours, are on on CBC Sports right? That's right. That's right. The, you know, you call the games off monitors now, right? A lot of football, a lot of soccer commentators uh, around the world call games off of screens inside a room somewhere in the network. Right. Mm-hmm. And you call the game off the monitor. You do both games. Yeah. You called the game in GM Place, did you? Uh, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. What was it like the first time you were at the building? My God. It was unreal. It was like a dream come true. I had to keep pinching myself to, like, am I dreaming? I had to wake up. It was just, it was phenomenal. And, I mean, yeah. we this just keeps getting bigger and better for us. I don't think we realized that it would be this big. And the community's response has been tremendous. And that's the thing with sports. It's so universal. It doesn't matter which culture, caste, creed, what your race is. Everybody relates to it. And that's why it's so beautiful. I wondered for you, though, uh, recognizing that a big part of this job, and I was at the game in my Montreal, and I watch Bob Cole come in, and the RDS guys and the TSN guys, they come in, and they talk to the players before, and there is a relationship that is built. Right. When you walk in, do you go to the games during, before they happen? Do you, like, do you go to the ACC, and have you met the players and talked to them about what's going on? Well, we did that in Van- Vancouver. So when we got out there, we you know, sat down with Roberto Luongo and everything and explained to him that we, what, what it was that we were doing. And they, they loved it. And I think we're going to start doing that more here in Toronto. We haven't started just yet because we're calling it from CBC Studios. Yeah, but but uh, Perminder yeah. and I both have a lot of media experience. He's visited, like, the Raptors and right. a lot oh, of yeah, players right, like that. Right. And then me being from Calgary, I've, I've met a Ginla and, and a bunch of the players there a lot, too. So there's a lot. It's something we're looking forward to. It's just... It's going to happen where, never mind Manny Maholtra, there will be another player who's Punjabi oh, in the oh, league, yeah, totally. right? Which Definitely. I think Manny was one, you know, for sure. Uh, yeah. It's great to have you guys on the yeah. show. No, fantastic. Well, and you know what? And us. I think Russell... Made you the honorary Indian. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> and here's our act of green. We oh, brought nice. I like that. No Spanish plastic. Is green. <laughs> what is that? So uh, we're going to make George oh. the honorary Punjabi. <laughs> George Ingram. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. That's so good. Thanks a lot. Carter Ryan and Parminder Singh, you can catch every Saturday night on TV or on cbcsports.ca. Next week, it's the best of the hour, 2008. Spike Lee, Michael Buble, Barbara Walters, Bob Newhart, Ricky Gervais, and more. Thanks for watching the program tonight, my friends. That's time.